السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله. الحمد لله الذي هدى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى. خصوصا على سيد الرسل وخاتم الأنبياء وعلى آله وأصحابه الذين اشتبا أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأذن في الناس بالحج يأتوك رجالا وعلى كل ضامر يأتين من كل فج عميق ليشهدوا منافع لهم ويذكروا اسم الله في أيام معلومات على ما رزقهم من بهيمة الأنعام فكلوا منها وأطعموا البائس الفقير ثم ليقضوا تفثهم وليوفوا نذورهم وليطوفوا بالبيت العتيق ذلك ومن يعظم حرمات الله فهو خير له عند ربه وأحلت لكم الأنعام إلا ما يتلى عليكم فاجتنبوا الرجس من الأوثان واجتنبوا قول الزور صدق الله العظيم The ayahs that I have just recited are regarding Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after <coughs> ordering Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam to build the Kaaba. And once he built the Kaaba with his son Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salatu wassalam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ Now go up, up on top of the mountain and announce it to the people so that they would come for Hajj. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, how would people come for Hajj? How would people would know about this announcement? No one lives in this town. And there are no people living around this town either. There is no population around this area. The order was, your responsibility is to announce, my responsibility is to get your voice everywhere. And Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam announced it. This is what Allah says in Quran, وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِ Adhan means announcement. And this is why the call to the prayer is called Adhan. So here Ibrahim alayhi salatu was asked to make the Adhan for Hajj. وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ Our Adhan is Adhan for Salah. This was Adhan for Hajj. Which simply means announce it to the people that now you had to come for the Hajj. I have built the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again for you people. And that was the Kaaba. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordering us in Quran al-Kareem. Says, وَلِلَّهِ عَلَى النَّاسِ حِجُّ الْبَيْتِ مَنِ اسْتَطَعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا It is incumbent on people, obligatory on people to perform hajj for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مَنِ اسْتَطَعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا For whoever can afford to go for hajj. We all know the hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned five pillars of Islam. And we repeatedly talk about these ahadiths. We talk to non-Muslims about these ahadiths. We talk to our children about these ahadiths. That there are five pillars of Islam. Simply means we are killing all of these people. That the Islam, the building of Islam is founded on five pillars without having the pillars we cannot have any building on it yet. <coughs> we will be able to establish that building and to build that building after putting the pillars in their places. And we need five pillars for this building that is called Al-Islam. The question is, how many of these pillars have we built up to this time? We know the Shahada. And alhamdulillah, we all have it. The second pillar of Islam is Salah. The third pillar of Islam, Zakah. Fourth pillar of, pillar of Islam, fasting during the month of Ramadan. And the fifth pillar of Islam is Hajj. Hajj is one of the foundations, one of the pillars of Islam. Without which, our Islam, the foundation of Islam is not complete. Just the foundation is not complete yet without the Hajj. As we know the importance of it, and we talk about this Hadith, but unfortunately, this is also a fact that if we go around in the Islamic communities, especially in this part of the world, if we go around in different communities, you will find more than 80% of people have not yet fulfilled this fad of Islam. More than 80% 80 80 of the people have not fulfilled this fad of Islam. So many people go for Hajj, but we find most of these people are those who have performed it before. But many of those who have never performed it, they are still waiting for something else. God knows what that is. According to some people's understanding, we will perform Hajj in our old age. So that at that time we get free of all the sins. We fulfill all of our other responsibilities. Once we get old, then we will perform Hajj. We know it as a fact that every ibadah and every work that needs little strength and power, the best time for it is when the person is young. Forget about Hajj. Our Salah that takes only three to four minutes as we are getting into the old age, is getting more and more difficult to perform the salah with the knee problems, with the back problems, with all the problems that we are having, with the witnesses that we have now, especially. So imagine what if we have to go for hajj and then go through everything that the whole journey requires. And we also at the same time see that year by year, the situation of the world is changing. Things are getting difficult. They are getting expensive. 